Hello, we are going to interview Manuel, a physical trainer of an e-sport team at the Yuga University. Let's go for it! Thank you for your interest uh, to talk uh, about me and my project. I am currently the health and sports specialist of, uh, for Yugami Sports. Uh, I studied sports science at the Autonomous University of Madrid. Then I specialized in high performance in sports uh, through my master in Palo de Olavide University of Sevilla. And I'm currently do, uh, working on my PhD project, which uh, combines uh, sports science and e-sports. How my career was linked to high-performance uh, basketball. Uh, I worked in Movistar Estudiantes de Madrid, uh, Yuka Murcia. Uh, but one day I started working with players, with gamers, uh, that suffering from various uh, injuries, different kind of injuries. As a result, uh, I delved into the world of eSports. I designed my own project. Uh, I present it uh, to the UK University. And gradually, I'm becoming a specialist in eSports. Or, well, I try to do it. Uh, my currently work, uh, alongside being um, uh, uh, working as a personal trainer, uh, focus on the management of the health and sports uh, department of UKM Sports. It includes uh, nutrition, physiotherapy, uh, psychology, and in addition, I'm personally uh, the strength and conditioning coach of the of the club and all its players. At the same time. Uh, I'm carrying out an, uh, different, um, a number of uh, research projects uh, related to sports, fatigue, and these kind of things linked to, to the sports world. The more important thing uh, is you have to know the environment and its particularities. Uh, you don't uh, have to be the best player or even play League of Legends or Counter-Strike. But you have to understand the daily routine of the players, their environment, the, the needs they have, the general personality of the professional gamers uh, and their whole uh, ecosystem, as it's not at all similar to traditional sports. At the moment, there is no possibility uh, to turn to experts with many years of experience to become a specialist uh, in sport training. And that is why I believe you have to be open mind and understand very well what kind of exercises are uh, important for them, uh, for improve their cognition performance, uh, this kind of thing that is important for the players. Uh, also, I encourage people uh, who are interested in, in eSports to focus their research on, on office workers. Uh, they have uh, some similarities to, to eSport players. Right now, uh, my best advice is to listen to anyone who, however small, has experience in this field. Um, as well uh, as to go deeper into this world with the aim of contributing and opening a path uh, that is still to be discovered. This is very important. First of all, uh, I must stress that uh, as there is still no logical way to measure real performance in eSports, we cannot ensure direct performance improvements either. Uh, what we can currently do is try to improve their movement precision, uh, reduce their fatigue, uh, improve their cognitive uh, capacity, or affect 
a certain number of variables uh, that are considered uh, relevant to the sport performance. This is where uh, sport science fits perfectly uh, on it, uh, as it can influence both in cognitive and physical aspects. We can improve uh, the hand-eye uh, coordination, the tolerance to stress and physical sensation. Uh, what is undeniable is that if you train, you are able to maintain your neuromuscular performance for a long time. And in best of five competition or five hour uh, training uh, seasons, the players who tolerate uh, the load better uh, and it don't affect so much to them, we have an advantage. Uh, this is something we, we are demonstrating to our research now. Combined with this, uh, we can improve uh, their decision-making ability, uh, uh, fine motor skills, visual uh, acuity, uh, reaction time, uh, all of uh, these kind of things uh, can improve with uh, sports science and with uh, correct, uh, the correct use of, of sports and training. And this is very important. An average day starts around 10 a.m. Uh, when they have breakfast uh, and get ready for the day. Then, depending on the day, uh, they record content uh, for social media or uh, do physical training for an hour and a half, more or less. Then. Uh, after taking a shower, they start uh, their individual training seasons, trying to try out uh, new features uh, of their games, uh, new weapons, uh, new champions, these kind of things. Uh, there's a lunch break, and in the afternoon, uh, the team training season began. Usually uh, involving schemes uh, against other teams uh, in which they analyze plays uh, and try uh, out uh, strategic actions and formations. Afternoon training usually lasts uh, from 3 p.m. to 9.30 when there is a dinner break and the the free time is allow until the bedtime. Regarding in-game hours, in the past uh, it was considered that uh, the more the better. But now the situation has been rationalized and training has become more uh, judicious. Although there is no key numbers of hours to reach a high level of performance uh, as there are many players with a high competitive level uh, with uh, 16 years or 24 years old, uh, which is usually the age limit uh, approximately. With regard to the physical part of the training, uh, I will not go below 3-4 seasons per week, including different types of training, in order to warranty uh, a state of fitness that contributes to improve the player's level and the prevention uh, of injuries. At first, uh, most of them, because there are always uh, exceptions, react badly. Uh, they don't understand uh, it and don't consider it necessary for their careers. Uh, they don't see its, its usefulness as a performance enhancer uh, and an injury prevention method. For them, uh, injuries are not a problem. Uh, they are uh, 20 years old and health is not paramount. But after a while, when 
they start to feel better when they play and listen to you and understand the usefulness of sport they end up uh, asking you for more uh, extra seasons complementary work uh, work during holidays and these kind of things uh, it's very important not only that they work out uh, but that they understand why it's good to work out this will change their perspective and it will not be an obligation uh, but a help for them of course uh, just as you can see examples uh, in traditional sport of players who don't uh, have good physical qualities but who go pro because they have a lot of talent uh, in a sport uh, does not depend so much for the phys uh, on the physical level this is even more the case it can certainly be uh, achieved and unfortunately it's very common but what we have to think about if uh, is uh, if you have reached professional level without using physical activity as a tool uh, to improve your level how far you could uh, get if you use it uh, all players who don't work out uh, must ask this kind of questions uh, and think about it and try to improve in this kind of things because this uh, it can help so much Luckily, many. Uh, in the first split that uh, was implemented the physical training for uh, Ukamia Sport League of Legends first team, uh, players uh, applied their strength in basic exercises over a period of eight weeks. And at the same time as improving their strength, uh, they began to decrease their perceived exertion during the in-game training allowing them to maintain their level uh, of performance for longer and this is uh, the, the best thing we can achieve uh, this is part of the research we are uh, in the process you know, of publishing similarly uh, there are examples of players who uh, after leaving the club continue to send me messages uh, telling me that I was a real inspiration um, that they now uh, work out almost every day because they feel better uh, both playing and in their, their uh, daily lives that is the best compliment uh, they can give you as a personal trainer or strength and conditioning coach uh, that you have managed uh, to influence a player uh, and change uh, their lives uh, and change it for better. In my opinion, it's going to be basic and fundamental uh, with any doubts. Uh, it's going to be integrated as a part of the routine of any class, uh, just like psychologist, uh, analyst, uh, and so on. Uh, they are figures that have been appearing and establishing themselves because they have a direct influence of the game and of course because they have been proof uh, to be effective uh, which I think is, is fundamental uh, as soon as we demonstrate that it's effective for the improvements of the player uh, any team and professional player will uh, make use of it since the high performance sport, any small improvement matters and physical training can contribute to take a step forward in many aspects.